Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 37 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about denoising, but using BM3D algorithm, and it stands for block matching and 3D filtering. Now, what does that actually mean? I'll talk about it at a high level again, and I'll refer you to a paper where you can get a lot more information. And of course, I'm going to show you how to use it in uh, Python. So first of all, I apologize for a lot of text. I should have animated this, but let's actually start from the top left here. It's called a collaborative filtering process. What does that mean? It means it groups similar blocks from the image. It's like k-means where you are looking, but instead of looking at this means, it's actually grouping these similar blocks extracted from the image. What does that mean? Okay, here is where I'm trying to apply a filter. It actually finds all the other regions that are similar to this reference. It sounds a bit like non-local means, but it's not exactly the same. So what does it do when, once it finds these? Well, a block is grouped if its dissimilarity with the reference fragment falls below specified threshold. What that means is a threshold is defined and a block is only picked if it, if it falls below certain threshold in terms of matching this reference pixel, reference uh, block. Okay, so once these blocks are all picked, it's going to stack them into a 3D cylinder. Okay, uh, it's going to stack them. Why? Then it's going to perform uh, uh, filtering. Okay, filtering is done on every one of these block groups. This is just one group of blocks. There will be other groups of blocks and the filtering is done on these groups and a linear transform is applied. And uh, again, uh, if, you, if you want to know exactly what's going on, I'll refer to uh, a paper, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But how do we get this? We have to do pip install BM3D, okay? So first of all, let me go to this uh, BM3D PyPy page. So here it is. And the last version was released January 30, 2020, just a few months ago. So this is still actively maintained and developed, which is a good sign. And the paper, one of the relevant papers here, uh, you can again uh, have a quick look at uh, any of these collaborative filtering uh, papers, but here is one that is very relevant. Again, go through this and you can see how they are also using very similar images like I showed you. And a lot of math, again, if you would like to get uh, uh, a much better understanding of what's going on, okay? And they also talk about uh, how it can actually filter different types of noises, as you can see here. OK, so this can be a great denoising, again, algorithm for your case. But again, go ahead and test it out. So let's first jump in here. And I do not think I have BM3D, import BM3D. So let's do this exercise together. So I'm going to pip install BM3D. Okay, so once it's installed, I'll just test one more time, okay? Import BM3D, and if it imports, great, we are all set. Now let's go to the code that I have written here. And of course, I haven't, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, I did not install BM3D until now, so I hope this works, I haven't tested this. But there's no reason not to work because I kind of looked at the documentation and uh, followed the instructions. And that's exactly what I recommend you guys also. I can cover only certain amount of topics, but if you want anything else, Google search, find a, a library that works for you and go ahead and implement that, okay? Okay, so from scikit image, I'm going to import IO and image as float, obviously uh, to read our images. This is what we have been doing. And I'm reading the image as gray. Now I have to look at documentation to see if this works on color images. In that case, then don't, do not import this as gray, okay? But chances are it doesn't. Uh, so how do we implement it? Again, BM3D, go ahead, and BM3D.BM3D, noisy image, and Sigma, PSD, and uh, I have written some notes. The documentation of this is not great because this is relatively new. 
uh, the documentation is not great. This is all I saw. And even if you go here, it's uh, so I had to go to the source code to actually find information about uh, how to use this. And that's exactly what I would like to share with you. So let's actually come down here and look at what each of this means. OK, so first of all, within BM3D, I'm using a, uh, a module. I'm using a function called BM3D. OK, so BM3D.BM3D and our image, I called it noisy image. You could have just called it image. It doesn't matter because we are dealing with noisy image. I just called it no noisy image. Now, Sigma PSD, it's the noise standard deviation. Okay, again, you can estimate the noise from the image itself like we have done with non-local means, or you can just provide a value. And remember that this is always below one because our, we are converting our image to float using uh, image as float from scikit image. That means it rescales your image image to floating values between zero to one. Okay, let's go ahead and run this first so you can have a quick look at it. So on the top right, you can see how this is float 64 and the values are between zero and one. Okay, so your sigma is uh, uh, definitely below one. Now the next part, let me open this up a bit so you can see. The next part uh, here is stage arg bm3d.bm3d stages hard threshold hard thresholding. So this is where initially I didn't I didn't understand what was going on but once I opened up the code and looked at it, here is what I understood. Stage arg, it determines whether to perform hard thresholding or Wiener filtering. Apparently, there are two things that you're uh, uh, doing as part of five. If I go back, if I go back to my presentation here, I talked about uh, linear transform is applied followed by Wiener filtering. Okay, so that is the part we are defining here. Do you want to do a hard thresholding or just a Wiener filtering? Okay. Why you need this? Again, you have to look at the paper to understand why you need to do this. But then here is how you can actually select whether you want to do hard thresholding or Wiener filtering. Now, stage arg, uh, hard thresholding, or you can actually uh, select all stages okay which means it includes everything as the name suggests it's slow but actually it says it's uh, powerful so uh, all stages performs both hard thresholding and wiener filtering that's what this is so now let's go back and look at what we have written here okay so we are trying to do bm3d.bm3d okay this apply this function onto my numpy array my image noisy image with a sigma value of 0 0.2 and post-processing by using hard thresholding and not performing any Wiener thresholding. If you say all stages, then it's going to do both of those. And I'll leave it to you to test both. Obviously, if you do all stages, it's going to be slow, okay? So now once it's done, let's go ahead and plot the output. Just like usual, I'm going to do open CV to have a look at the output image. Now this may be a bit slow again. I will pause the video in case this gets a bit longer. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, it's done and it wasn't that bad. It actually took like about 15 seconds or something and I got an error saying name noisy image is not defined and luckily that's just plotting and not uh, the BM3D denoise. This part is done. If you look up here, that part is done up here and we have the array. So we just need to plot it. So let's go ahead and run these lines of code one more time and have a look at our images. So this is our original image and this is our denoised image. And it looks a bit cartoonish, right? I mean, it's overdoing something. So it's, uh, you can actually go back and change this sigma to 0 0.1, for example, and then see how it looks like, or 0 0.05 and see how it looks like. Now, one thing I haven't tested, I'm a bit curious about is, does it work on color images? So let me go ahead and test it while recording this video so we get that question answered. So let's run this one more time. If it gives an error instantaneously, then that means, well, it doesn't work on, uh, it doesn't work on uh, uh, color images. Okay, that just took about 20 seconds or so, and it does indeed work on color images, which is a great sign because now I don't have to split the channels, work on individuals, and then merge the channels again. So this is this is great. They're doing their job for us anyhow. So, uh, and and it's it seems to do an amazing job over there. And just out of uh, fun, let's just do 0 0.05. I'm extending this video, but this is, uh, I'm hoping that this is worth it. 
Okay, so there you go. It again took very similar time as uh, sigma equals to 0.2, but 0.05, much better job. And in fact, this is an amazing, amazing job. This seems to be the best of all denoising that we have tried until now. As you see how the input image looks like and how the output image looks like, the cleaned image, practically clean in the background, even on the nuclei, it seems to have done an uh, done a, uh, amazingly great job, including preserving these edges uh, I'm a new uh, fan of this uh, type of denoising now. I'm uh, uh, waiting to try on other images. Uh, so anyway, so this is how you can use BM3D. And again, all the hard work has been done by others where they created this library for us. So we just need to import it and go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, write these few lines of code. Now, if you really want this to be useful as part of your other software, for example, this is a relatively new, uh, relatively new algorithm and it hasn't made its way into our standard software like, for example, Zen. So you can actually write a piece of Python code create a uh, container out of it and you can actually run that as part of Zen and I'll cover uh, that topic later on in future but uh, please leave your feedback as part of the comments here if you want to see that earlier than I actually planned for so I can cover that topic later on so you can extend the capabilities of Zen by creating your own additional functions like that. Okay, uh, so I hope you found this tutorial to be very useful. I did learn a lot because literally as I'm recording this video, I installed this uh, BM3D uh, block matching and 3D filtering. And uh, equally with you, I got a bit uh, uh, pleasantly surprised by how powerful it actually is. Uh, so thank you very much and please practice this and uh, please leave comments on how it actually worked on your samples or hasn't worked on your, on your images. I'm a bit curious to see how uh, versatile this is. Uh, the paper claims that this actually can uh, clean a lot of different types of noise. So please work on uh, different types of images and then see how this can definitely help you uh, to clean up your microscope or any other image. Thank you very much and let's actually cover a different topic in the next tutorial. Thanks.